I'm now going to demonstrate the DX Cluster plugin in STR Uno. So here's the plugin panel where you can uh, highlight the DX Cluster plugin and load it. Up comes the DX Cluster plugin control panel. And uh, first of all, just a couple of words about what is a DX Cluster. So this is um, a Telnet based um, a network of computers that are each running a software package specially uh, capable of gathering and disseminating uh, information logged by radio amateurs uh, on particular DX call signs that they've uh, spotted around the globe. So a lot of these are interconnected and uh, depending on which is your favourite uh, you'll tend to find uh, much of the same information is shown and uh, taking a look at the uh, control panel here let's uh, let's just start it going while I talk a bit about uh, what's going on here. You'll notice um, in terms of the status it's now running and there's a, a little count number that's going up. What this is is the count of new uh, call sign postings that have uh, appeared on the network which you'll see in a minute are, are actually uh, going to be annotated onto the spectrum display. There's a time in the top right hand corner set as a default to five minutes. You can change this. What this means is that the call signs which are um, uh, being displayed are going to persist for five minutes because obviously over time they become out of date. But you can play with this number. Uh, let's now um, take a look at one or two of the other bands because what this tells me is that there's now 10 uh, brand new call signs being added that people have spotted uh, somewhere within the HF amateur bands. So it looks like none on 40. Uh, let's try 80 meters. Ah, look, there's one, two, three uh, stations have been uh, logged which are um, uh, there's a UE3, an RL3, an RO3. Uh, let's have a look at uh, 20 meters. There's uh, quite a few call signs appearing there. Um, you'll notice there's uh, some, some some other things you can adjust here, which is where where the baseline is for the um, for the annotation to appear on your spectrum display. The default is minus 70 dB which is this um, line here, uh, the minus 70 dBm line. If there are multiple uh, stations close together, it doesn't drop down with another yellow line, but uh, you can see you can just uh, line this up and um, obviously see if you can actually go and uh, catch some of these uh, signals. Okay, uh, John Clark, uh, in August, uh, uh, in August, uh, Vance, uh, Vance May 3 uh, on 20 meters, uh, of Jean Clad. Applause. Merci. Santa Cristobal. Jumato Ba. Bravo, Oscar Bravo. Monkey Arch, West Virginia. Poisson Clay, Zabiento from Kilo Eden, Ogamba Yankee. Yeah, so that was a nice demo. You heard KY, K8, NY, so uh, it really does work. Conditions are obviously favourable because this obviously depends a lot on, uh, on the propagation of the time. Um, so it's, uh, but it's a very, very neat uh, capability and um, uh, depends very much on this network of amateurs adding and contributing to it.